Naima Ali Camacho is buried here, surrounded now by flowers and fall decorations. The three-week-old died in April after her mother fell asleep and rolled on top of her. She's responsible for the death of her infant. The Lancaster County DA says Kayla Brenheiser admitted to smoking pot during her pregnancy and in the hours before her baby died. There has to be accountability because she made choices that had consequences that resulted in death. The 27-year-old who lives here in East Petersburg is charged with involuntary manslaughter, a second-degree felony because the victim was a young child. Uh, it's not just marijuana. It kills people and it resulted in the death here. The DA hopes people get the message that the marijuana of today is much more potent than years ago. A day after the baby's death, a GoFundMe site was set up with a memorial fund. The opening page says, Little Dove, I love you so, but I know you had to go. But the DA says this was a senseless death that didn't have to happen. In Lancaster County, Susan Shapiro, News 8. The baby tested positive for marijuana and amphetamines when she was born, but there's no indication whether authorities were contacted then.